Triceratops Trail in Golden. The half mile walk takes you back millions of years through Colorado's prehistory. Triceratops Trail is a uh, look into the past 68 million years ago when the Triceratops dinosaur walked underneath our footsteps here. Uh, actually, Triceratops was first discovered in Denver, about 13th and Federal. This was uh, a Triceratops track here. They were like big elephant tracks with kind of small toes on the end. And we have a series of tracks. Uh, some are better formed than others, uh, working their way to this nicest track over here where the toes are really prominent. But this is where the Triceratops tracks were found first, which is really important. One thing that makes, in my mind, this so important is when in conjunction with Dinosaur Ridge, you have a good portion of the age of dinosaurs. We have the first um, horned dinosaur tracks that were discovered. Um, we have tracks of duckbill dinosaurs, several types of carnivorous dinosaurs, including large ones. This like paleontologist the says tracks of birds, mammals, and reptiles have also been found here. What you see is the bottom or underside of the track. As we say, it's the worm's eye view of a track. Uh, everything was laid down flat originally, and the dinosaurs were walking around in the mud, or now the clay and making their impressions in the clay. Uh, the sun would come out and harden those impressions. And then that next layer, which happened to be this sandy layer from a flood event, would fill in those impressions. And then the Rocky Mountains, when it uplifted about 70 million years ago, brought all of these strata with it and brought it to the vertical alignment that you see today. The interpretive trail describes plant and animal life that left traces in what later became a clay mine, which is now closed. The Parfit family operated the mine for 130 years. The clay was used to make bricks, sewer pipe, tile, and pottery. So this pit was created when they dug out the clay and uh, left the sandstone fins standing. And it's the sandstone fins that have all the dinosaur uh, trace fossils. Trace fossils are signs of life, not teeth or bones, but tracks or impressions of things such as palm fronds. This one is a hadrosaur track here. They're duckbill dinosaurs. They were about 15 feet high, 30 feet long. We also have theropod tracks here, carnivorous dinosaur tracks. You can see the toes of the theropod here. The track we have down here, the three-toed track, we can't distinctly identify it uh, because part of it's missing, but we think it's a T-Rex track. Also, tiny tracks from a beetle, even impressions from raindrops. All of this represents the end of the dinosaur era. Experts say it's good the mining here was done a long time ago. When they excavated the site, they used pretty low technology, uh, small shovels, even hand shovels, to get into these narrow cavities where they could extract the clay. They had less implements of mass destruction to come down here and knock away the, the fossils, trace fossils on the side of the sandstone walls, uh, where today they'd use big machinery and just knock everything down to get to the clay. Next door to Triceratops Trail is Fossil Trace Golf Club. The public course was designed so it would not interfere with the signs of prehistoric life. We can save the dinosaur tracks and have a golf course. Chip Parfit donated land for five of the 18 holes on the course. The fact that the architect came in and visualized leaving some of these sandstone fins as part of the hazards of, or the beauty of the, of the golf course was so unique into itself that it not only was able to allow you to play golf on that side, but it preserved the tracks on this side. It's a unique course. The fossils are up on the uh, you know, wall and uh, we go up there and look at them now and then. The golf course clubhouse also has a display of trace fossils. Not only do we have palm fronds and leaf impressions, and uh, trace fossils of animals, uh, but we have impressions of a log here, maybe one or two logs, 
right in through here. We also found um, uh, some of the first mammal tracks that were ever discovered, tiny little mammal tracks. They're very inconspicuous and very fragile, and, um, but they are also new to science and have been, have been named. So this is a very, very important locality scientifically. Geologist T. Kneer first saw dinosaur footprints here in 1950 as a college student. He strongly encouraged the city of Golden to preserve the fossils for the public to see by creating Triceratops Trail at Parfit Prehistoric Preserve. I'm thrilled. I'll tell you, it's like, like uh, winning a jackpot or something. And these things are uh, so valuable. 